What's up guys, it's Alex Rove with the Alex Rove Fishing YouTube channel. Today we're on the Monster Bass channel though, and we're gonna be talking about power shots. I love to flip, I love to pitch. It's one of the things that I love to do really all year long, but especially as we get into spring, we get into spawn and go into the post spawn, it's just a great way to catch a bunch of fish. Well, if you're looking for a way to make that pitching bait or that flipping bait look just a little bit different than everything else that those fish are gonna see, that traditional Texas rig, pegged Texas rig kind of look, you can go with the power shot. Now, I'm gonna let you guys in on some sneaky, sneaky stuff today. This is actually something that I have never put on video anywhere, and it's kind of a special way that I like to rig my power shot, and it's, it's just different. It's something really cool that I actually learned outside of the bass fishing world, so let's get right into it. So what is the defining difference between a normal drop shot and a power shot? Literally, it's just you're bulking everything up. You're using bigger hooks, you're using bigger drop shot weights, and you're using bigger baits, bigger line, bigger rods, bigger reels. So today we're gonna to be using a 3 aught EWG. This is the saber tooth hook, and we're also gonna be using some half ounce Monster Bass uh, tungsten. This is the little bell drop shot weight. Now I like a bell drop shot weight, especially when I'm flipping and kind of moving really, really quick. Now if I get around some rocks, that's actually when I'm gonna go with the cylinder style, because that cylinder style can actually slip in and out of those rocks a lot easier. But here, we're down in Florida, we're hanging out fishing grass and trees and stuff like that. That little bale is gonna do a lot better. Now, how do I rig this thing up? It's gonna be completely different than you would probably see a normal drop shot rigged up. And I actually stole this idea, I guess you would say, from saltwater. And what this is, I think, called in saltwater is a chicken rig, but I also know it as a dropper loop. And so I actually tie a dropper loop um, to fish my power shot versus like a normal drop shot. So the way you do that is you're gonna double your line over like that. You wanna create a loop, and then you want to start looping that line around one side of that loop. Loop it five or six times. Take the loop that you created here and run it back through that loop. Pull it through, start putting a little bit of tension on it. And what I like to do is I actually like to wet my line and then put this part in my mouth to kind of tighten it all down. So I'm gonna wet, then put the loop that I created here, tighten it down. And that is what they call in salt water, either a chicken rig or a dropper loop. And so then this is really cool. So I know what you're thinking, Alex, how in the heck do I attach my hook to that? Well, what you actually do, and this is one of my favorite parts because this allows me to switch between hooks really easy. So if I wanna go straight shank, if I wanna go normal worm hook, if I wanna change baits, it's really easy. You're gonna pinch that line, you're gonna take that loop through the eye of your hook and you wanna make sure that hook point is pointing up towards your rod tip. You're gonna bring that loop over your hook and then you're just gonna pull it down and it cinches right down on to the hook right there and now your hook is connected to your dropper loop. And if you want to, really easy, just take the tension off that, you can run that loop back around there and you can switch up hooks super easy on the fly and be able to switch between a bunch of different bait styles and hook styles to figure out exactly what you need. And then obviously you're gonna have that piece of line down below your hook, that's where that drop shot comes in and you simply just run that line through there put your drop shot weight on there and there you go that is my little power shot chicken rig dropper loop thing that I have concocted and that's how I like to power shot and so obviously this is also a bigger bait that's why we're using that bigger hook and I'm just gonna Texas rig that worm right onto there and what's really cool about this is it's really really weedless not only are you Texas rigging that bait and text posing that hook but when you have that separation between the bait and the weight this allows you to fish this thing through grass or on lily pads and kind of keep that bait up above some of that stuff and keep it pretty weedless. The setup on this thing as far as you know pitching and throwing around I like using what I would normally use for a Texas rig or a jig or anything like that um, you know, something in that 7.2 to 7.6 medium heavy fast action range. You want a little bit higher gear ratio reel, something 7.1 or higher just so you can pick up the slack on that, especially just like when I missed that one back there, you know, you want to be able to make sure and reel up that slack and just ease that hook set into them and not really slack line them. And then I'm fishing some 17 to 20 pound fluorocarbon. Now the key to this thing, and this was the way it was explained to me when I was saltwater fishing, we were actually grouper fishing is what we were doing. And so what's cool about it is we were grouper fishing and kind of drifting these things 
around and it was bumping the bottom and and the reason that they said that this thing works so well is because as you drag the weight that bait kind of wants to get out behind it and stay separated from everything so even though this weight may be back here dragging behind the bait actually separates up and with this floating tail worm that we're using it's going to float up and it's going to separate and that line's going to pull away from your main line and it's just going to give you a really different look so keeping that in mind i really had to play with it to figure it out on this chicken rig or dropper style loop and what i like to do is i don't actually like to hop it like normally if i was flipping a bait you know i'd be hopping that thing along giving it the alabama shake as i like to call it but with this thing i like to just drag it so i'll let it sink all the way to the bottom and then I'm just gonna kind of drag it up. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna drag that, that weight across the bottom. It's gonna separate that bait away from that main line. And it's gonna give it that kind of unique chicken rig dropper loop style look that I wanna give this thing and, and the reason that I rig it up like this. And you know, this thing is great for this time of year. You know, when you're dealing with a bunch of finicky spawning fish, fish who are making beds, they're done making beds, they're post-spawn, they're pre-spawn, they're everywhere in between. And this is just a great presentation because number one it's a little something different but then number two you can use something like that trick worm and almost i wouldn't say in a weightless way because obviously we got that weight below it but the action that that worm is going to have is somewhat weightless and you know and when you put this thing in the water when you see this thing swimming around and that worm is just kind of dangling up there by itself and it's kind of doing its own thing just like a Carolina rig, just like a normal drop shot, just like a wacky rig or whatever else you can think of, that weightless presentation, that super finesse presentation is what helps you to get bites in those really pressured situations. But again, just power everything up. That's the whole point of the power shot. Bigger line, bigger weights, bigger baits, bigger rods, bigger reels, and the ability to still cover water like a flipping bait but uh, still have fun doing it and not have to pick up the fairy wand.